You need a dog. Oh, damn it. Let's just go back to the retrievers. Whoa. I traveled through the gateway and ended up on this edge of a beautiful cliffside overlooking the water. There's a strange looking island in the middle of the water. Perhaps this is where Lilith is holding my daughter. But how will I ever get there? I find a note that reads, To access the underwater retreat, place a fairy amulet on the stone pillar here. I see more telescope lenses, but I do not see an amulet here. Fay, I have a precious family amulet at home. Perhaps the nexus, another ga nexus gateway can take you home? Yes, I can. I swear there are more... More gold. Hello, you must open the next gateway to get the fairy amulet that I have hidden in our home. I'll tell you how to find once I get there. Yes. Let's find it. Immediately I found it. Yes. The moon and the stars. And then... What next? Ta-da! An eye! Oh my god, I'm so scared. When I open the door, the daylight comes back. I know, fidget. You don't have to tell keep telling me every time I go in that place. You've completed a dream jewel. This jewel with the moon and the sun was designed by the same fairy who built the magic telescope. Okay. You've completed a dream jewel. This jewel is one of the most mysterious. Some believe it brings sadness. Others believe it heals sadness. Hmm. Look. What killers? Maybe this one. These are blue, red, and red. There we go. Yes. Like I said, blue, red, and red. Yes. There are lots of combinations, man. What about now? What about this one? Can I get that one? No, it's all yellow, which is fucking impossible. It's a hollow homecoming without my family. This is the music from the first game. I bet I have the fine amulet that Fidget can't hear. Must fairy secrets vex me even more in my home? Still, no secrets can keep me from my daughter. Come on, can't cut the music off like that. Faye, the amulet is well hidden with several several fairy tricks. The tiles in front of the stairs have to be arranged in a certain pattern to reveal the secret drawer under the stairs. The key to the drawer is up in the middle room. Oh no! Looks like Lilith is trying to, still trying to stop you. Restore these tiles, then I'll find you. Help you find you the find. Oh, I can't. La, 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 la. Your mother asked me a few years ago a picture of fidget. I can't see. That looks like an elderly person. Too old to be fidget, looks like. The painting is very old, it shows one of my ancestors, but nobody knows who it exactly is. This is a portrait of me and fidget on a wedding day. Huh. There are lots of golden nuggets uh, here. This is, this is where the music from the first game starts to creep in. Because this is from the first game. Remember this? Fish? I'm sorry, I, I know where all the places are because I've played this game so many times. Yes, that's this. The plants seem to be surviving even after being neglected for a while. The match is now in your inventory. Kablam! Looks like the fire. Yeah, let's turn to ash. I had a dream! That Lilith, the fairy queen of dreams, cast a sleep spell over the entire village of Wish. Oh, what's happening? I just woke up. Fidget, where is my husband? Oh, I need to light a fire. Oh, the door is not frozen anymore. Oh no, the things. Yeah, I should just stop doing that. Let's just focus. There are no tiles in this room. You should stop the tile puzzles downstairs and then come back. 
Let's just take these nuggets. Oh, that's it. Okay. See you then. Yes. The secret drawer where I keep the amulet. But first you must properly arrange the tiles and find the key in Kilera's room. Yes, I know how this works. Maybe. Don't worry, I got this. Ta da! Yes! First try! This must be the secret drawer Fidget told me about, but I still need a key to unlock it. Fidget said something about a special key in Lyra's room. Faye, take the rug from this chest and spread it out on the floor, and then place Lyra's favorite toys on the rug, and the key will materialize. I forget the exact order of the toys, but I remember reading something, a note about it. The note is probably still around here somewhere. Between the books, I find a scrap paper of, with a note written on it. it is, it's in Fidget's handwriting, and it reads, just in case I ever forget the order. Place the face above the face, then head the way of the clock. Then add a toy that's full of air. And then two men that have no hair. A ball, a ball. The first one small, then three more dolls from short to tall. That's a bit of over overdoing it. I, think. I don't think you need to go there. Anymore. That door leads to a balcony, but I need I don't need to go back there. Anymore. But don't you? You need to go back to the first game. Oh no! First, find nine of Lear's toys. One, two. Is that a golden nugget? Yeah, it is. Hot air blue. Is that not a mask? No, what, what is this mask? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Fidget's grandfather made that chair. Where is that last toy? Okay, first ball. No, that's all right. Place the face above the face, then uh, head the way of the clock. Face above the face. What do you mean face above the face? Ah, face above the face. Add a toy that's full of air. Then two men that have no hair. Yes. A ball, a ball, the first one small. Is this smaller? Oh, it is small. Then increasing height. It's just classification. Oh, it's over there. I see. No. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. I got the key. I got the key. I take the amulet. Let's go to the go to Yes, let's go here and place the amulet here. And then it turns that thing there into existence. Righty then. There seems to be some kind of deep cut channel in this stone. Yes. Climb into the gondola. I move slowly toward the lonely island in the middle of the water. I don't know exactly to expect there, but I feel like my daughter is close now. This door must lead to the underwater retreat, but there is a cover to, of, over the lock. Look around for something that could be matched in the teardrop sheet. Like that, teardrop. Why they're so well hidden? Doesn't this re bring you back memories of the second game? Ta-da! Remember it. <laughs> Don't worry. And another labyrinth, like the first game. A second game, sorry. What's that? That's the door. Oh no. Oh no. I enter the first room in this mysterious underwater retreat. It feels like a very special place. Perhaps fairies escape here for peace and quiet, but it but it seems deserted. 
A tea set is arranged in the center of the room, and I remember Fidget telling me about when, uh, about the healing power of magical herbal tea. When I walk toward the table, the tea set disappears. That same voice continues to menace me. I don't see other pieces to the tea set in this room. Da, 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 da. No. <laughs> Easy as pie. Three point one four one five. Step forward into that. I'm pretty sure in this game. Nothing can be hidden in these areas, so it's just simple as finding the way out. The emboss looks... Oh no! The candles. I enter what looks like a meditation room filled with fragrant candles and fraction pool. I'm mesmerized by so many t tiny flickering flames. The room feels both peaceful and eerie. There are colored candles placed in the Candelabra when I first entered, but not surprisingly, they disappeared. disappeared. Candle can be placed here, yes. Where can I find these candles? Let's just keep going. They look like they protrude out, don't they? Like they. It's like a texture, but it turns out if you look to the right, it's just an illusion. They're flat. Hmm. I guess the other one. I remember the ways already. I don't need to. Is it is it bad? I mean, not exactly a hard thing. To do. Yes, I enter a beautiful music room with exquisite furniture and an unusual musical instrument. I hear that some menacing. Vo I hear that same menacing voice. And the instrument breaks to pieces. I wonder that will. I wonder what will happen if I reassemble it. Perhaps I could find some of the missing tea set pieces in this room. Now this, this bloody plate, used to confuse. Like used to. I couldn't find that for a long while, and it made me stuck in this area. I got stuck for a long while. I thought there was a pillow or something. What is that? You showed me that thing, but that's nothing. Tell me your flickering lights. You're beautiful. Okay, let's just put this by. Do this. Once I play the musical things, of course. Yes! Ta-da! We're done here, boys! And girls! not to be <laughs> don't want it to just be me, me being stupid anyway let's keep going Two, three. it changes color da, 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 da. Well, down and becomes a plate so I have three of everything now it's good No, that's not the right one. Circle. Thing. Just, just put it in the area. 
the teapot fits perfectly there. I cannot see the scribblings on the thing. Here we go. Yes. Boom! Badum bum! We got it! Actually, I put the place first, then the cups. Da -da -da. The door opens, there seems to be another corridor on the other side, and here we go. The real maze. That's a dead end, I think. So I'm just gonna go here. This is a very frustrating little maze that you don't know where it leads. And you just try to go. That's a dead end. Uh, right here. Turn right. Always turn right. No. Yes, always turn- There it is! <laughs> we got it! I sense that Lilith is close, but the steam is too much- or uh, too hot to walk through. I need to turn it off somehow. I'm sweating from the heat, but I managed to turn all the steam off. This could be the final path to reaching the list. The stranger's hand led, led me to this retreat beneath the sea. Here I hope to be reunited with my daughter. And face the fairy who stole her from me. Despite Lilith's dark magic, I'm close now. I feel it. Did she really think I would ever stop looking for Lyra? Step forward. Left. Okay. Let's always turn left. Nothing. I think this is a dead end. It is. It's a dead end! Here, I can. Ta da. Turn left. Right. I don't like why are there so th these squid patterns that disturbing pattern on the wall. No, that's a mermaid. Yes, that's fine. I guess. And that's dead end. Turn left. No, can't go forward any further. Yes, obviously. Mermaid and don't see any more of that. I guess right, left. Yeah, this thing. Why is there this thing? I don't like this. I don't want that. Means. Aha! The strategy worked. <laughs> turn left. Always turn left. Live. She looks peaceful, almost harmless. But where is Lyra? I don't see her anywhere. My heart is racing. It's time for Lilith to wake up and tell me what she's done with my daughter. What she's done with my daughter. Lovely saxophone. saxophone. This, that gla glass bubble must be soundproof. The door is made of glass but it looks very solid. I try the door but the key falls out of the lock and lands just on the other side of the door. Right, right onto a piece of paper. I think I can reach the paper from the side and slide it under the key. I carefully slide the paper out of the door but, and get the key, but it's the paper grabs my attention. It looks like a page torn from the herbalist's book. It reads, Waking Potion. I have to believe this was left here for me. But who else would dare get this close to Lilith to leave it here? I can reach Lilith now. She's alive, but she will not wake. Why would you in such neat deep sleep? Expert in now? Yes, I know. I know. Yes. Ta-da! Waking potion. See, this will this potion will awaken fairies from even the deepest sleep. Cauldron. 
Juniper. Add some lavender liquid essence to the glass and add some heated grey rose seeds. Crushed grey rose seeds. And heat some bitter aloe in the cauldron. And add it to the potion, I guess. Mm. Add crushed juniper berries, then finally add orange peel, peel. The first ingredient we use is the final ingredient. Orange peel. Waken sleeping fairies. Faye, don't forget that gateway goes to straight back soon. So this is the final one. And I know where it leads, but I'm not gonna say anything yet. Ta-da! So you finally made it. What are you talking about? You were expecting me? Of course I expected you. I was beginning to think my instructions were too much for you. Instructions? You mean this person? Yes, I sent you the notes, the crystal ball, the nexus gateways, the dreams of your family, everything to help you remember who you were and lead you here. But why would you help me? I see your mortal brain is struggling to understand. Now that is insulting. If I was your guardian angel all this time, then who was your enemy? Who stole your memory and made you believe that you were Brenna? Who separated you from Fidget and placed so many obstacles in your path? Who has taken Lyra? Perhaps your fairy husband has told you about a strange, powerful and powerful dream librarian. No, who is the Dream Librarian? The Dream Librarian is a keeper of all fairy knowledge. She was the closest advisor to the Fairy Lord himself, who ruled over the entire fairy realm. But when the Fairy Lord went mysteriously missing years ago, and the Dream Librarian knew that the time we had come for a certain prophecy to be fulfilled, it means me to the point of our cooperation, Faye. This was revealed in the second game. Have you heard of the prophecy of the Chosen Child? That sounds familiar, can you remind me? The prophecy states that a child with half mortal and half fairy blood shall replace the missing fairy lord. This child will become the most powerful fairy our world has ever known. Are you seeing the connection yet? As absurd as it may seem, Faye, the dream of is this child to be Lyra. Lyra? The fairy lord? No, it's too much to expect of her. She's only a child. My child! I agree with you, Lyra. Ah, I agree with you. Lyra could never be worthy of, worthy of ruling our world. That is also insulting. And I refuse to live under the reign of the child of, a, of the man who should have been mine. So you see, strange as it may seem, we are bound by the same dream, desire to send Lyra back to the moral world where she belongs. I have helped you all this time because you are the only one who can bring her back. And, if so, and so, if you want your daughter back, you must do exactly as I say. Because I see you have your own selfish interests at heart. I will trust you. There's only one way to reunite, reunite your family, but it would require powerful magic. Just tell me what I am, Lyra. Not if you do exactly what I tell you. Why can't you do it? This magic requires a mother's love. Besides, I still need my breath. Rest. First, you must go to the herbalist's house and make one more potion. I'm through making potions. What? What herbalist has? I believe Lyra once had a very precious teddy bear. The potion will allow you to retrieve the bear. Yes, I know the one you mean. She loves that bear. Bear. Now make the potion, then take it to the magic tree where you can reach the nexus. Which you can reach by the nexus. Where you can... Will you... There you will use the potion to free the teddy bear. When you have the bear, return home and place it underneath the car face near Fitch's secret hiding place. I'll do it. Let's make another potion, shall we? Okay, root shriveling potion. What the hell is this? This pour this potion over stubborn tree roots, and they will instantly shrivel. Crush. Oh, lemongrass. Ta -da. 
Add some heated rose re uh, red rose petals. Heated lemongrass. Lemongrass. And, uh, rose liquid essence. Crushed and heated. Oh, it wasn't the final thing. Oh well. I forgot that I still needed to do the root shriveling potion, so orange peel isn't the first and last recipe. Uh, I mean, ingredient. Some gray rose seeds. Waterman climax. Root shriveling potion. Let's go back to the next, uh, this place. Yes. Put the lens into the telescope, you can find that this looks like a rocket ship. No, this is the fairy tower. The Tower of Dreams. Ta-da! This is Tower of Dreams. I don't really know where I am, but... At least we can reach... It looks like a cobra, this. TELL ME WHERE IT IS! There it is. <laughs> Fish. This is just like the previous one, only more slanted. Ta-da! Mermaid! I just hurt my toe. Let's go out and melt some more golden nuggets. In each game, Dream Jewel. This mermaid jewel is rare and highly valued in the fairy realm. Some say if you hold it under sea, you'll actually hear the song of the mermaid. Each game has a different purpose for the Dream Jewels. The first one, it doesn't really have a purpose, just gives some lore. The second one, you meditate to find the actual lore and the secrets of the fairy realm. Third one, you use it to unlock the gate next gateways. This jewel shows the Tower of Dreams, where ancient fairy knowledge is closely guarded by the ingenious ingenious locks on each door, uh, each floor. The fairy lord used to keep watch from this tower. You complete a dream jewel. This dream jewel represents the love and all that all fairies have for music, which they believe can heal the body, mind, and spirit. So it's not a cobra, it's a music cool thing. Stradivarius? I don't remember. <laughs> You've completed a dream jewel. This jewel shows a mystic, mystic, mythical fire-breathing fish that lives in the deepest and darkest part of the sea. Interesting. How many are there? Eight? Brenna's Tree House, Herbalists, Retreat, Faye's House, uh, Lilith's Escape, and this one. Which is the magic tree from the first game. Second game, sorry. La, la, la. Ta da! Let's go in. Here we are again. Once you feed the teddy bear, put it placed in the foot of stairs. I entered the magic tree. This is the last place that Fidget and I were together before the dream librarian separated us. If what Lilith says is, if what Lilith says is true, I see Lyra's, Lyra's teddy bear that she has loved since she was a baby. The sight of it makes my heart ache. The tree roots seem to be holding the bear captive with a tenacious grip. Until now, teddy bear. I got the teddy bear. Now I just need to bring it back home. Before I bring it back home, I want to see all the entries I made. Right. I used Dream Jewels to open uh, another gateway. After returning here again from the Obelisk's house, I opened a secret stairway. There are other gateways to open still, but I suspect I will need more Dream Jewels. I can only hope that one of the great gateways will lead me to Lyra. I've come back to make a potion to wake Lilith. She may be surprised to see me. I am back again, hopefully for the last time. I need a potion to get the magic tree to release its hold on Lyra's teddy bear. This device looks like a forge to melt metal into a mold of some sort. Perhaps this is where I can make my own dream jewels to open the gateway, but I don't see any molds around here. This is a huge telescope here. There is a tube here. But the room is so dark I can barely see it. I need to let more light in somehow. I opened the window to let some light in and now I see strange things to pick up all over the room. Plants, gold nuggets, telescope parts, logs, and who knows what else. I hope I can find some instructions to help me figure out what all these things are for. I don't understand how all this is getting me closer to finding Lyra. 
but I have to keep moving forward. I turn day into night and then use the telescope to find a translation in the night sky. Stars magically formed a ceramic mold. The shape of the mold looks like a lot looks a lot like the dream jewels I found before. This could be the key to opening another gateway. I found an unusual door with a mini with miniature planets embedded in it. If I can get the plants aligned, I am hoping the door will open. From the outside it looks like an observatory. It is six. Six paths. Face health. Not, it is a hollow homecoming without my family here. Nothing feels the same, I, but I need to find the amulet hidden in the staircase, but someone has torn up the tiles from the floor. I am back home again with Lyra's dear teddy bear in my hand, anxious to find out whether Lyra's instructions will actually work. Am I a complete fool for listening to her? She said to place a bear beneath the car face. Let's see if this works. Not yet, Faye. I head upstairs to see if I can find more of the missing floor tiles. It will be this difficult to bring myself to enter Lyra's room. I remember the first time I awoke from, from the, that bed and not wake up. It seems so long ago, but still this nightmare is not over. Lyra's room feels so empty without her. I will not give up until I have her back here safely. I placed Lyra's toys on a special rug in her room and got into the strange key to unlock the amulet. Now I must try to get into that strange place under the water. This is where Lilith and I would find Lyra's teddy bear. The tree seems to have grown attached to it though. Hopefully a little roots shriveling potion will do the trick. I feel like I am getting closer to finding Lilith. As, I, as powerful as she is, I feel no fear at the thought of facing her, as long as she has my daughter. I wish I could swim to that entrance in the distance, but it's too far. If she tells me I need to return to home to find an amulet, that I can place on the pillar here. I also see two new lenses nearby that would fit in the telescope. Maybe they can help me open a new gateway on the Nexus. I should unlock the door to this mysterious underwater retreat. I walk through an underwater corridor. I have never been to a place like this before. All I can hear is the soothing rhythm of, my, of the water and my footsteps. I wonder why fairies come here. It feels like a place of healing. Why would they put labyrinths in a place of healing? Everything is so quiet here, and yet I feel no peace. I can feel Lilith's presence here. As soon as I entered the room, the tea set on the table disappeared. This room is meant for relaxation, but my adrenaline is rushing stronger than ever. I need to find the missing candles and hope that gets me closer to finding Lilith somehow. As soon as I entered the room, the unusual instrument breaks into pieces. I'm not sure where it will lead, but I will put the instrument back together. The steam is way hotter than any human could bear. The only way to pass through it is to close the valve somehow. I have finally reached Lilith, but she is fast asleep in the room that looks like a glass cocoon. It must be the quietest place in this whole underwater retreat. What is she doing here? I am distraught to see no sign of Lyra, but I am certain she cannot be far. I need to wake Lilith to find out. It is hard to believe that the things that Lilith told me. Lyra, the chosen child. The chosen child. The next fairy lord. Well, the time lord. Strangely, it's the absurdity of it all that makes me believe it could be true. It feels wrong to cooperate with Lilith, but I have no choice but to trust her. I am reassured, knowing that she has her own selfish interests at heart. She told me to make one last potion to get L Lyra's teddy bear and match it. I'll do it now. Here we go! <laughs> Bubbles! Sparkle! I performed Lilith's ritual and my family returned to me. I've seen such strange things on my long way home. The fairy world will haunt my dreams forever. Fidget sees me with new eyes, and I him. But Lyra has changed most of all, age beyond years. She knows something we don't. And if she's not the chosen child, there can be only one other. You have earned the rank of Master Fairy. Yay. Ta-da! That was it! That was the three games. Out of five! See you next time for Dream Chronicles 
the book of air and the book of water. Until next time, I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you guys again next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Ciao. Sampai jumpa.